The pilgrim trails across France converged at Osterbat in the foothills of the Pyrenees. There, the group of 20 or so pilgrims who had been traveling alongside me since I'd left Tours swelled to about 70. Some were prosperous citizens, some probably on the run from justice, a few drunks and several monks and clergymen. Several languages were spoken, including Flemish, a German tongue, and a southern French language called Oc. Nevertheless, oh. there was no lack of communication among them, and as we crossed the Pyrenees, they sang, played games, told stories, and in several cases, had love affairs. Ooh. While my baby and I kept mostly to ourselves. Ganz schön frech, die mit ihrem Kind. No idea. I don't know German. Hush now. German hmm? German is one of those that I would like to know, but I don't want to learn. <laughs> There's so many languages that I want to know, but I don't want to learn. Yeah, okay, calm down. I don't know what you're saying, but I'm a song. I'm this song. Yes. Can a man not just have his rest? The road from Babenberg was too strenuous. I don't know what you're saying. He has to cry himself out before he'll fall asleep. It will give you a strong voice one day, won't it? Do you have children? I mean, he has a strong voice now. He's quite rude, isn't he? Ein Kind hat ja auch gar nichts verloren. Stimmt doch, oder? Jetzt ist aber gut. Why is Kind capitalized? I'm pretty sure that that is a chill child. Like that is probably the the only the only thing I know in German. Come on, come on. It's not doing anything. Let's go for a walk. He's been restless. Well, I mean, this is not condition for him. Is that different? Okay, well. On the riverside, German pilgrims, fire, path leading away from camp. No, tomorrow I leave. Across the bridge, tomorrow I leave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, here comes the obligatory... It's been a while since I've played it. <laughs> I mean, this time it's not been that much. It's only been like a couple of weeks at most. Come back to me, please. So come it, back it has to me. been a while. Um, so, yeah, I remember talking to those guys and they kind of didn't like me. I don't know. I don't. They're Where are you? German, though, Where so did who you knows? Go? Um, that poor soul. Maybe I can help her somehow. Yeah, let's go help her. Dear Lord, what are you doing? You should get out of the water. It's freezing. You know, I never my said ring. it, but I really I like Aliena's voice. Dear Lord, please show mercy. <laughs> Can we find the ring? The river Arga. Most pilgrims stay near the spring in town. I thought the river would be quieter. I am the one making all the noise. Okay. Um, the 
cold will kill you. How can I help her? I can't leave without my ring. Is it in the water? Because it doesn't tell me of a way to look in the water, but maybe it's... Okay, search for ring. There we go. Must be somewhere else. Okay. Come back to me. Oh, Please wait, 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 wait. I see it glinting. There it is. Where are you? Where did you go? I found it. Okay, now let's leave. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Poor woman. I found it. <laughs> Can you imagine though? Yes! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You are a very kind woman. So very, very kind. I'm glad I could help. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay. So I guess I needed to do that. Are you getting warmer? Because you're wearing the freezing Are water. Are you getting warmer? I am, thank you. I can see this ring is very precious to you. It, it was a gift from my stepmother. She thought I would stay forever, but I didn't. Yeah, I don't want to pry. I mean, I am. Even with this, I am prying, but like, this is more like, oh yeah, tell me more, I see you, you, you care about that, so tell me more. I don't want to rehash negative things. Tell me about your stepmother. She was such a kind woman. So very, very kind. Okay, I guess I am prying. Why did you leave? Oh, I... I... I thought I didn't belong. She always said I was her daughter, but I was sure she was lying. I was so selfish and so stupid. Too stupid to see I really was happy. Why would I say that? <laughs> Maybe you really weren't happy. I... I don't know. I was very young and thought I was unhappy because I didn't live close to the sea. But in the end, the sea did not feel the same about me. The cold there made me sick. It took away my sight. Why didn't you go back, actually? Yeah. Why didn't you go back? She had been so angry when I left. So angry and disappointed, she would have never let me return. Ah, that's why you went on the pilgrimage. I doubt that's true. Yes, so that St. I mean... James might see my devotion, and I will be united with my mother in heaven. I'm just not as kind as you. Not kind at all. I was thinking actually that what is this like a lien in the future but um i don't like for a second i thought that but then i don't really see the resemblance <laughs> like it, she went away because she was unhappy okay yeah but she went away to look for uh for jack and because of their baby and Jack doesn't know about the baby I don't I don't know and like there was nothing left in Kingsbridge well I mean Richard is still there but I don't know I'm not sure I'm not sure like even then Richard is there so I'm so glad that she left 
because I hate Richard. She is still looking for Jack instead of living on her own, but at least she's not living for Richard. <laughs> Actually, we two have quite a few things in common. I too am trying to make amends with the one man I love the most. Okay, that's. I was told he went that's straight what to it Santiago. Was. You will know soon. Not soon enough. It's still four weeks till I get there. He'll be there, I'm sure of it. I hope so. I just feel... I just feel that with every day that passes, I'm losing him a bit more. And that the only thing I can allow myself still to hope for is not love, but forgiveness. I understand. That makes sense. But to go Hush that now. long and that Not long now, far just for forgiveness, over. I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you need to demand love of Jack, but also why do all of this to begin with? Uh, I do guess that you want him to know, you know, that uh, I have your baby and everything. I don't know, this is all... Uh, I don't think I can relate to any of this. I love Aliena though. So I am still glad to come along with on her story. <laughs> El Camino de Santiago, also known as the Way of St. James, is a Christian pilgrimage route to the Cathedral of Santiago de, Com de Compostela, where the remains of Jesus' apostle St. James the Greater were presumably put to rest. The pilgrimage to Santiago, besides Jerusalem and Rome, is one of the most important pilgrimages in pre pilgrimages in Christianity, and is believed to be one of the only ways to free a pilgrim of their sins. By the 12th century, it has become a well-organized undertaking. Even a book was written as a travel guide for pilgrims, the Codex Calixtinus, supporting the pilgrims in completing their travel. The scallop shell is used to guide the pilgrims on their way and serves as a symbol of St. James and the Camino because at the end of their travel, the pilgrims will almost have reached the ocean. Um, it's so strange to think that pilgrimages like this are still... Like, this is from the 12th century, be before the 12th century, because by the 12th century it has become a well-organized undertaking, but it was something even before then. And even now, it's still a thing. It's still a pilgrimage that a lot of people do. Um, and like that's really interesting to me, because it's one of those things... I'm not Christian at all, I'm not religious at all, but it's one of those things that we still have from so long ago. And it's kind of nice that uh, some of these things are still going on in some way. I I can appreciate it. <laughs> it's not for me at all, but I can appreciate it. Um, Puente la Reina, is that where I am? Uh, that's... okay, the Camino. Yes. The woman's name was Alba. She came from a small town somewhere in Catalonia. I quickly got used to her constantly feeling out for her stepmother's ring and the sad guilt that would always follow in her milky eyes. She came from a small town somewhere in Catalonia, and yet I didn't really hear much of an accent. And she knows English. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, sure. I wasn't sure if she appreciated my company, but I couldn't leave her on her own either. By the time we reached Los Arcos, she'd stopped talking, while I kept on dropping a kind word here and there to let her know I was still by her side. Okay, let's keep going to Burgos. Alba believed herself to be of weak mind and body, oh, and yet she walked the beautiful. Camino with a strong sense of purpose that willed her onward. It made me wonder about what I'd told her about my own journey. Did I hope for love, or was I really traveling because I needed him to forgive me? I think it's more the second. 
Um, like both, <laughs> but I think it's mainly the second. Like after she married Alfred, uh, like I'm sure that that kind of guilt <laughs> was, I don't know, bubbling inside. But I loved that kind of a town built on mountain mountain sides and cliffs and stuff like that. I always love them, especially if they're on the sea. I don't think this is on the sea, uh, but like Sea Cinque Terre here in Italy. I love that town and I would love to visit it someday. I still haven't. I mean, I, it's kind of far away. I do live in Italy, but it's still kind of far away. Uh, but I, that is one of the things that I, one of the places that I would love to visit one day. And this reminds me of it in that it's built on on the side of a mountain or a cliff or something, and it looks beautiful. I love seeing the houses like that, you know, on different layers. But what was? Oh, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to double click. Sorry, Aliena. Around Leon, the path began to gradually turn uphill. It was only two more weeks till we'd reached Santiago. The baby was in a good mood, and so, surprisingly, was Alba. Okay, that's good. After Astorga, the trail got more difficult. Alba became slower and slower, and we had to rest more. She became quiet again. The strain on her old body grew, and she worried that she might not be able to reach the end. Still, we managed to push onward. The next We're morning, almost there. she refused to get up. Oh, her no. breathing was disturbingly shallow, and she hardly noticed me touching her forehead. Everything hurts, she said, and urged me to continue without her. Of, I, I, of course I won't. No, stay with her. We're so close. I mean, if Christianity is to be believed, after that huge pilgrimage, miracles are supposed to happen or something? I don't know. Like, you, you should be rewarded. All, like, besides being absolved of your sins, like, come on, <laughs> we can do it. it. We're so close. Of course I stayed with her. I brought her food and water and sat by her side. But day after day, her condition grew worse. She kept on urging me to go, to find Jack, saying the monks of Ponferrada would take care of her. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to continue to stay. The thing is, okay, I'm metagaming here, but if she's meant to reunite with Jack, she will reunite it with Jack. That is just how the story goes. <laughs> so, like, if I continue to stay, eventually we'll still meet Jack. But, um, and I'm sure we will. Like, I'm very positive that we will meet Jack again. But also, I'm trying. I'm. I'm trying not to meta game. I'm trying to think what would Aliena do, and Aliena is very sweet and kind. At least the way I have played her, she is very sweet, and uh, she wouldn't like. She met her and immediately wanted to help her, even without me actually choosing for her. Her first thoughts, you know, the the things that pop up when you examine things. The first thought was that poor woman, I wonder if I could help her somehow. So she actually is very sweet and kind. Uh, so I don't, I think she would still stay and that, like leaving and finding Jack is something that is all for herself. Whereas she will very much care for others first and then worry about her own problems later. So I'd hardly known her. 
and most of the time she'd try to push me away, as if she considered herself a nuisance that slowed me down and who didn't deserve company. It wasn't until a few moments before she died that, for the first time, she smiled at me, and I like to believe that she saw me smile back. I still like to believe that here, in this unlikely place, dying next to a near stranger, she'd found a moment of serenity and happiness, but she'd not reached Santiago. When I left, that thought still haunted me. To see that a journey could come to an end so suddenly. But what would be different if she had reached Santiago? Could she have been disappointed by what she found? Okay, well, I am still glad that we... that we stayed. Because we let her know that she wasn't a nuisance. After, After months month. of hard travel, the child and I finally reached Santiago de Compostela. In the evening, we attended mass in the great cathedral, then started to roam the town looking for my dear Jack. It was almost dawn when finally a priest pointed me to an inn close by. Step Meg. No, okay. <laughs> she must see many people passing by. I'm getting closer. Buenos dias. Do you understand me? Siento cho ben, pero non temos camas disponibles. Um, no, I don't need a room. I was told a friend of mine stayed here some time ago. A red-haired Englishman called Jack. Do you remember him? Eu sou chefalo en galego, miña rula. Francais? English? Oh, she knows Francais. Well, she was a noble woman. Uh, she was the daughter of an earl. So that makes sense. <laughs> the opposite didn't. Like, not, not the opposite, but like, that guy, uh, that French guy that I met last part, uh, or two parts ago, no, last part, um, that one, knew, knowing French, that didn't make sense to me. <laughs> uh, but this is, I believe this is like Catalan. I don't really know, I don't really remember. Uh, this is kind of a dialect in this area that is like a full-blown language in this area alone and it's kind of like Spanish and also like Portuguese uh, but kind of a mix of the two I don't know I don't remember I've studied it I didn't study the language as in uh, to learn the language but I studied the linguistics of the language and now I don't remember anything about it or at least very little um let's what about, you know, pointing at the baby? Oh, que cousinha! Eche rubio! Si, sí, redhead. Uh, have you seen his father? Yeah. Have you seen his father? Padre del Nino? Jack Builder? <laughs> that English Ven accent. Siendo un peregrino? What? E un peregrino? Oh, no. No. He's not a pilgrim. <laughs> no. In French. Entón, quem ven sendo? Um, what do I say? He's a I mean, he's a mason. By profession. He's not a jongleur. He was looking... Point at something? Wait. Point at something. What would I point at? The cathedral? But that would be, you know, a pilgrimage. She asked, by the way, the, they didn't really translate it, but she asked if, she, if he's a pilgrim and she said no. 
Or did she translate it? Did she say he's not a pilgrim? I don't know. Uh, but I don't remember. I don't, like, how did I just forget what she just said? But if I point at the cathedral, that will be <laughs> like she will be like, oh, so he is a pilgrim. What the hell are you talking about? But let's try and say he's a mason. He's a mason. Oh, mal rayo, me partas. Entiendo que me estás a contar. I mean, she wouldn't understand that. <laughs> Point at some. Let's try pointing at the cathedral then. Um. Let me show you something. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry to forget details of, of his face. I wondered why it was like that. I thought it was just a stylistic stylistic choice. Uh, point at cathedral. Otherwise, what else could I point at? Point at in ask for help. I mean, I could ask for help. Point at jars. What would that be for? Like, what what would that do? Let's point at the cathedral. Maybe another cathedral. Jack might have been there. Never get tired of them. He's a mason. He builds things like that. Si, si, a mason. It's the same word in Galician. Por aquí oh, pasa un amore right, de masons. No me poderías decir algo más sobre él. Well, he's a mason and he has red hair. He's also very knowledgeable. But how do I tell you that? Ask us for help. Oh, um. Can you help us translate? O inglés non chofalo. Disculpa. Can I pet the dog? Oh, well. Oh, the amores. Yes, absolutely. The man I'm looking for loves to read. Anda, isto é todo masón. See, si, it's his. How does she understand? Um, oím falar de un masón que dice que se dedica a traducir libros en Toledo. Por lo visto, di que se llama Jack. Yes, Jack. Have you seen him? No sé cuál será o su apellido, pero ven es cierto que nunca hay muchos masones rubios a los que les guste leer. Se tan desesperada está porque no vaya a Toledo a comprobarlo por sí misma. Entonces. He went to Toledo. Yeah, let's go to Toledo. He went to Toledo. A Toledo marchó, sí. Di que o teu Jack podría estar en Toledo. All right, so I will go to Toledo then. Gracias. I just pray that I understood you correctly. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> That is really interesting though, because I've never actually list I've never actually heard the language. I again I've studied the linguistics at school. Uh because in case you didn't know, I mean I say it pretty often, but I went to a linguistic school. Uh so I studied foreign languages, but that was only like French, Spanish, uh and English, of course. But I I also studied linguistics, and in while studying Spanish, we also studied the linguistics, like part of uh, Galician and uh, Catalan and stuff like that. Uh, the that, but I never really heard it, and it's so similar to Spanish that I think I could understand, uh, but also you know it's not actually Spanish. So let's go. Let's travel to the letter. Yeah, I. That's pretty much what they were they were saying. I think. 